friends, welcome to Cash or Trash, the episode where we review multiple craft kits to make sure that I waste my money and you don't. However, today's episode is a little interesting because we're running out of kits. We are. So most of these were sent by you, Grains. Didn't Salty Crafter go and get one? Yeah, actually, I sent Salty Crafter out because she's immune to a lot of things. And she doesn't even travel like we do. She doesn't walk. How does she travel? Don't ask. All I know is she kind of teleports. Oh. So at some point, she went out and she found this Beads Pets kit. We'll talk about that later. First, joining me today is my sister Sika. What's up, guys? Who is the absolute reincarnation of salt. I was waiting for you to say something else. I was like, come on, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go on. English number one. <laughs> Starting early. She can't English. Never. I think it's genetic. Most probably. <laughs> So today we have three craft kits. The first one is a plastic bag monster kit that was sent by one of you grains, which seems really interesting. It's super colorful. I'm really excited about it, especially because on the front, there's two monsters. One of them looks like it's me trying to explain things, saying, Hey grains, today we're going to be looking at different kinds of craft kits. And then the red one is Sika, who is very hype and it's probably saying, Yay! Yay! <laughs> a lot of energy for that one. <laughs> I was like, oh no, <laughs> oh no, yay! yay. <laughs> so I'm really excited to try this one. Next, as you saw, this one was brought in by Salty Crafter. It's create your own bead pets. And Those were so popular when I was younger. Everyone had one on their bag. And we weren't even allowed to buy them. No. <laughs> like, can we have this? That's no. Like, no. <laughs> Can we okay. have a Tamagotchi? No. no. And then I asked like 10 times for Tamagotchi until he gave in. And then when I was in that like phase, you got me Tamagotchi. I still have them all up. Oh, do you? Yeah, I have like all 11 of them in my <laughs> in one of my drawers. I got you 11? About? I'm a good I had, sister. Like, I had like so many. I'm gonna have to go find them after. And last but not least, from Klutz Scholastic, make mini eraser cuties. It's cute. I like the erase? fact that's a good question. We'll get there when we get there. Don't jump. Ahead. I'm so excited to see it. Do you want me to be like... What? Why? What's your mouth? Why? No one heard anything. Let us know in the comment section below which one do you have the least hope on? I'm really curious. Sika, which one do you have the least hope on? The erasers. Actually, I was about to say I have the least hope on the erasers. Yeah. But we'll see. By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, I and Sika will live a sharp pointy thing at you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Too, too much power. Give this back. No. Oh! <laughs> I am in power. <laughs> Our first victim, I mean Kit. Plastic bag monster. That has both me and Sika. There is technically a third monster in this room. Where is she? <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> She's in the closet. Isn't so she? in it. Mm -mm. Talking about salty crafter? No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, whoa. No. <laughs> when Sika's not sure what to do, she howls. Oh, no. Whoa. Oh, no. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know. Whoa. No, no. <laughs> this kit, as I mentioned, was sent by one of you grains, and when we checked on Amazon, it does sell for $31 Canadian. But in the US, we did see it on eBay for about $11. Big difference. And as you can see, it does promise that this is an eco-friendly, environmentally friendly craft kit. So I'm pretty excited to make our colorful baggy monsters. So in order to do that, first thing we have to do is see what's inside. Where's the bag? <laughs> There's no bags. Plastic bags and bottle tops are not included. What? No, 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 no. Give me this. No. Well, no. I guess it is green if you have to use your own instead of them making them for you. Plastic bags and bottle tops? Yeah, are not included. I don't have bottle tops. Here's what we get inside. Four plastic straws. Wooden beads. <laughs> I forgot what the word was. <laughs> A pipette. Some yellow stickers that we're not sure what they're for yet. Googly eyes. Are you gonna put them on your eyelids? You know me too well. <laughs> you can't open it. Oh, that's so creepy. <laughs> Did it work? Yeah. Hang on, I got you grains, don't worry. Oh my god, it's so crazy. <laughs> We've got templates for the mouth and arms and legs. String. That's it. And no bags. And instructions. 
Now, I know this is supposed to be recycle your own bags, but they have to be realistic on the kind of advertisement they're putting here because, because no one has bags in these colors. At least provide us with one or two bags and then let us figure it out later because we don't have these colors. This is clickbait. 100% this is clickbait. I am so frustrated right now. All right, let's... Who even has those colored bags? I don't know, but let's go fish for some bags. Do you even have any? I have only like white bags from shopping. All right, let's go. And so this craft kit made me go into the depths of my closet to find bags. These are the most colorful bags we found. One of them is um, souvenirs. <laughs> this one, I really don't remember when was the last time I shopped from there. No clue. I think the last time was like- Our cousin's wedding? Yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna say. That was like over 10 years ago. Was it 10 years ago? Yeah, just about. And just a regular shopping bag from the pharmacy. Is this pharmacy? Optimum. Yeah, no, Maxi. Optimum is from the pharmacy. Dinner. J j you okay? Yeah, I. I Are you okay? I, I glitched. <laughs> I, and we do not have bottle caps. Honestly, if this kit really is $31 Canadian, they could have added a couple of bags, just at least make one monster so that you can get started. And, and they could have used like recyclable bags too, so. Yeah, we're not asking for new bags, just find any bags. I mean, most of this stuff anyways, if you're gonna include string, if you're gonna include pipette, the, 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 cutouts. <laughs> Are you okay, Ew, honey? Glitching. I mean, they're already including material. Include the bags and bottle caps. I mean, I just went and picked up a piece of carton, pizza box, pizza box. So thanks to them, we're not making a full project. So. <laughs> While reading the instructions, it got us two full-grown adults. I'm fuzzled. <laughs> You're calling us adults? Physically. Yeah, physically. <laughs> That makes more sense. It says cut 40 strips of plastic bags. And then down here, we pretty much have a specific number, 40. But then down here it says, take a few. What's a few? Three, four, 80? I don't know. I don't know. And they just keep saying to repeat, so. Until it becomes 15 centimeters tall. The instructions are absolute garbage. Absolute recycling. No, oh, but we need them though. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna keep reading and trying to figure it out. All right, we need to talk because they want us to cut 40 plastic pieces like this over here, which is 12 by, by 30. 12 by 30. Or 12 by 40. So which, far, I don't think we have bags that are long enough to make 40, so we're going with 30. And look at that. It's about half the size of this felt down here, and we need 40. In Arabic, Arayin. Now you have your Arabic word of the day. It's a useless number to know, but at least now you know it. Let's say it again. Arabayin. <laughs> So in order to make one monster, you need 40 again of these. And just to do the math, one plastic shopping bag makes six. So it means we need about seven plastic bags to make, make 42, which is... No, I'm not asking you. Okay, Arabic. I thought you were asking me here because <laughs> I don't remember it. Which is one monster. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> Are you okay, honey? Yeah, I'm okay. So we need seven bags in order to make one monster. Honestly, for something that feels like it's supposed to be green, it's a lot of wastage. It would have been better if they made the monsters smaller so that you could use one plastic bag per project. I think that would be a great idea, actually. Max of two, two plastic bags. Yeah, otherwise it still feels like they're being wasteful. Yep. All right, let's cut 40. Eventually. All right, so we are just a little over halfway and I ran out of bags, which means at some point this is not recycling anymore. It's wasting because I had to go and take my kitchen garbage bags. <laughs> yeah, my kitchen garbage bags. I have to ruin kitchen garbage bags instead of it being from recycling. I already feel like this is getting me really salty. You know, I, I had less, 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 the least hope on the eraser one, but now it's this one. This one? No. Let's just finish this project because I already I already know how I feel. I, I already know how I feel too, but I guess we should finish it and give it a chance. Because spitters are quitters. Wait, wrong context. I was like, we didn't spit anything this time. Quitters are quitters. Quitters are quitters. I know, I don't know what to say. Okay. <laughs> And so after mundanely cutting all the bags, all 40 bags, now we started mundanely folding them like an accordion in order to get that little fluffiness and twisting it with the little tie. And now that all of our garbage bags are layered, we're going to take our scissors, cut them so that they're even. Uh, just bear with me here. This is the crappiest kit so far. Just bear with me. And now we're going to prepare the googly eyes. Just, I'm so done with this. Are you okay, Marisika? <laughs> Are you okay? 
My thread keeps splitting in three. I know, it's terrible thread. So now we have the mouth and the mouth is attached to the arm. Because that's how anatomy works. Yep. The arm fell off? My, my buddy lost his arm. I guess you could hey, say, do you need a hand? Mm, this kit costs an arm and a leg. Ah, oh, he's got no legs. <laughs> Zero. Zero on ten. Nada. Did you lose your poop? Yeah, I lost my poop. You lost your <laughs> I lost my <laughs> guys. <laughs> Honestly, if you really want to do a project like this, which we were super annoyed, it was mundane, it was absolutely atrocious. Just go a waste of You're waiting for me to talk, aren't you? Yeah. Miss interrupted. You know what? No more poo for you. No more poo. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'll get you later. If you really wanted to do a project like that, you might as well just go dumpster dive in your own recycling bin. You probably have more stuff than the box did. Except for the googly eyes. Dollar store. Mm -hmm. Our next kit, bead pets, which apparently is Sika's childhood. Yeah, I mean, everyone had them on their school bags but me. <laughs> oh. I, I, did, I didn't know you wanted them so badly. This kid actually looks really fun. It would be really hard to mess it up, and if they did, I would be so upset. Yeah, it would be pretty hard to mess up. I have to think about it like, hmm. <laughs> Honestly, if they mess this up, I, I give up. That's it. Cash or trash is finishing here, guys. Cash or trash is ending. The third one, not even there. Not I'm, an option anymore. I'm just gonna shove Salty Crafter back in the closet, and no more outings for Salty. No more. I can't do this. She must up. They always break my heart. Why are they breaking your heart? They always break my heart. Don't break your heart. My expectations are here, and then they crash me into the garbage. You're breaking my heart. And it does say our favorite quote ever. Includes everything you need. <laughs> and it says 641 beads. Pony beads. Pony beads. Can I have a pony? No, there are a lot of maintenance. But I don't want a pony. Do you have the backyard for it? I do. Hmm, that's a good argument. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and the beads look really colorful. I like the fact that we can actually identify what's on the box. We definitely have a rabbit, even though it looks, it looks like weird. It's, looks like it's seen things. Its eyes are so close together. It's probably a cyclops. It's a cyclops. That's what it's I was gonna say. <laughs> because I mean, the frog and the dog have separate, separate eyes. Sorry, I was like looking around at the same time, and I got distracted. I was, I was a little too involved. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we can definitely tell what the animals are, except Sika's Englishing is all over the place it's today. It's everywhere today. What? It's everywhere. I thought I heard it's everywhere. It's everywhere. I have a lisp now. <laughs> Time to see what we get inside. Oh. It's stuck. Why does this keep happening to me? Why is there always me? For $17, here's what we get inside. Nine different bead colors. Shiny beads. Clasps and jump rings. Strings, black and white. We also get a container to put the beads in, but interestingly enough, even though we get nine colors and four metallic, we only have five compartments. Hmm. So there's gonna they be- They must up. There's gonna be they said they gonna mix it. <laughs> they said they gonna mix it. They go mix it. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. So if you want to have your beads in here, you definitely are going to be mixing some colors. Then again, some of them only have like six of them. So and we also get this really sad instructional manual in black and white. Hmm. It's not a good day for kids, is it? Mm-mm. <sighs> So it really does bother me that the instructions are in black and white, especially because, because of the age group they're technically supposed to start with, this instructional sheet is lazy at best. And we are not surprised because it's by our favorite company, Horizon Group. There you go, Horizon. Good to see you again, buddy. Let's dance. Time to dance with the devil. The other thing that Sika noticed right away is that some of these have colored cores that change colors, which sucks because they only gave us black and white. That's it. So they don't really give us anything else that shows on the box. They're like, oh, this stands out. It looks so cool. And then we oh don't have it. God. And then they, what do they do? They give us black and white. No, no. What do they, they break up our hearts. Hearts. Up. Hearts? Hearts. They uh. break our hearts. They break up our hearts. <laughs> They're breaking your heart and mine. Oh, you too? And mine. Oh, come here, pumpkin. <laughs> You know, you look really cute with that fake ribbon, huh? <laughs> All right, let's get to work. What do you want to make? Um, the froggy? Froggy it is. So the frog needs green, yellow, and black. Do we want to use black or white string? Because they only used a super nice colorful one that is not in the kit. Let's use black. <laughs> <laughs> it 
since this is Sika's dream, I'm going to let her take charge of this project. Because for me... What are you, what are you doing? I'm gonna be standing. Get real. Oh! You watch your mouth! You know when Sika stands, that means she's really serious about what she's doing. I'm cereal. I'm for cereal. I'm for cereal. We fed you. I'm still hungry. Oh! I had two bowls, but a third one would be great. No! <laughs> For me, honestly, the instructions really were put very lazily, especially that they're in black and white, and this is a very colorful type project. If we look at the box itself, there's a discrepancy between the colors that they have on the main part of the box and then the side of the box. It seems like they're saturating the colors, and sometimes it's just a little confusing. I don't know. I guess we'll see how easy Sika finds the instructions to follow. We've run into a little bit of a problem. This here doesn't want to tighten, even though we are trying to pull it through this part. Sika's having a bit of a hard time. Is he okay? I think he needs a hip surgery. Is he gonna be okay? Just to be clear, I thought we were going to let go of the hip just being like this, but Sika, who's holding the string with her mouth, I'm holding this so that it doesn't <laughs> fall, is obsessively constantly pulling at this poor frog's hips. <laughs> Make sure. Oh, why did it legs go that way? You okay? You're so holy. This is supposed to be a project for one person. Alright, here it is. Sika really did as best as she could. The legs are so <laughs> st It doesn't bend. How did you manage? I tightened him. Oh no, because you could see at least here we could get a little bend. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. Look, he just needs to sit down, okay? He's a sitting frog. <laughs> oh. And so the biggest question, did that fulfill your childhood dream, Sika? Kinda. Kinda. It's expensive for what it is. It's the only thing I have that to say. I mean, it was a fun. It was a fun. Just one. Just a, a fun. one. A fun. A fun. Not, not many funds. Just one. One fun, because it was one project. Exactly. So it, it is a fun project. It is, for me, easy to understand. The only thing I don't like is the fact that they didn't give us the color string, because I think that would have looked nicer. And also, it's kind of expensive for what it is. So I, I do know that we can buy these beads at the dollar store. The string, too. What about the keychain? Can you buy that at the dollar store, too? Yep. So you could probably get it from the dollar store and just kind of Google online an image. An image. An image. No. <laughs> an image and go on it from there on so worth your skeptical cash I really yeah. oh you're very generous i personally would say because it's so expensive mm -mm. oh because of the instructions the instructions were so lazily put together they could have had this by the way assumes that you've already done this kind of project or that you know in which sense that they're supposed to go because i never did anything like that so i'm looking at this and like what i've never done i've never done you okay honey <laughs> No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I've never done it and it was pretty clear to me. So I guess it depends what projects you're used to as a kid. I mean, I've never done anything like that before, so. I haven't done anything like that before, but I find these instructions are they kind of lazy. Help. Yeah. I, what I find really silly is that instead of making it in color, they just give you a color key at the bottom telling you what color each bead is. They could have just colored it instead. <laughs> and since many of these things can be found at the dollar store for cheaper, instructions can be found online easily. For me, this kit 100% would go in... I don't agree with you. I'm not I'm not doing it with you. I don't have the same opinion as she does. In the trash. No, it's oh. skeptical cash for me. For me it's trash. <laughs> Our next kit suddenly let's hear <laughs> we have more hope, don't we? <laughs> let's hear my opinion at the beginning. Sika, which one do you have the least hope on? The erasers. Actually, I was about to say I have the least hope on the erasers, yeah. but we'll see. Yeah, I did say I have the least hope on, and Sika also? Yep. But this kit now, the Klutz kit by the, the Scholastic, suddenly seems like the most appealing. I am so upset. I can't believe everything just, oh man. No. Everything was just below mediocre, and now... Did you drop your poo? <laughs> My poo doesn't love me no more. I've done many Scholastic Klutz kits in the past, and they are, generally speaking, pretty good. Especially in the front of the box, you can see that they do look pretty chubby and cute. They're not hiding what these are, so... Oh, I really like this one. It's a mermaid cat. Can I make that one? Sure. I actually really wanted to make the mermaid cat, but you beat me to it. Well, I can make this one. It's like a dragon thingy. Yeah, the dragon's things. cute. We'll roll a coin. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And I'm really confused because it does say mix in glitter. Last time I checked, Glitter is not going to help you erase. Yeah, it's just gonna spread all over your sheet. Oh, you said sheet. Yeah. Good for you. 
You, you thought I was gonna say ah! <laughs> And again, our favorite sentence Includes everything you need Scholastic, generally speaking, is pretty good at it I Why did I have so little hope on this kit? I think it's just because it was erasers Probably. Like, we're not nice people. We were judging erasers. We judged erasers, guys. We judged erasers. What kind of low-life scums are we? And as you can see, it says make, bake, erase. So I think the most important factor would be the fun factor and the erasing factor. There you go. But in order for us to do that, we need to see what we get inside. Why are you rubbing my leg? <laughs> Why are you rubbing my leg? Grace, she's just rubbing my legs. Your pants are so soft. They really are soft. Are you done rubbing my legs? I guess. She's such a weirdo. So soft. I'm like, I thought you said you were done. What? And so for $12.99 US or $16.99 Canadian, here's what we get inside. Four colors of pastel clay. We get eyes. A tool that has a cutter. Oh, is that the smiley? And the smile shaper. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. And a 32 page booklet on which erasers you can make. What I really like about the book is that when you pick something, it actually tells you the colors and the size uh, directly on there. So you don't have to try and guesstimate the proportion. Unlike the previous kit, which was exactly the same price point, this here has instructions. They tell you how things go. There's a 32 page book. In color. Yeah, so don't tell me that they couldn't do that with the other kit. Horizon Group. You must up. You done must up. <laughs> we also get some cutouts to make a tiny diorama. So we're going to be doing two projects. Which one do you want to make, Sika? I think I want to make a cat donut. Cat donut? Yeah, kitty donut. There. Oh, that is cute. So Sika will make a cat donut. I will go with something a little more ambitious. This one? I will do the mer kitty. So cute. So in order to make the cat donut, this is what the instructions look like. But before that, let's try the clay. So usually when it comes to eraser clay, they are pretty hard, but you have to knead them. So you take a tiny bit, like a so. It literally feels like an eraser already. And you just keep smushing it between your fingers until it gets soft. Huh. You good? Yeah. How do you like it so far? It's very hard. Is this your first time with eraser clay? Yeah, well, I've never really used much clay, huh? except for like the dino that we really made into like a frog. Time for a craft challenge! No. Sister versus sister. Let us know in the comment section below, what kind of craft challenges would you like to see me and Sika do versus each other? I really want to try like a pancake art one. That would be really fun, but I would need to go and get some materials. Yeah. <laughs> and so here's Sika's one of her first times working with clay. How do you feel about this? How do you roll it into a ball smoothly? I'm not being smooth. Roll aggressively to turn it into a ball. <laughs> oh, it's oh, not! No, it's not. Did you knead it enough? Yes, I did. Are you lying to me? No, I did Look not. at me into the windows of my soul. I needed it, girl. <laughs> All right, now that Sika has her somewhat pokeball, what you gonna do? Is this to smoosh it? You gonna squish it. I'm gonna squish it. Oh, that's cute. Time for the donut hole. Just don't mess up my desk. Is it, is it through? It's a pretty small donut hole. So far, so good. Now, what do we do for the kitty? Um, ears. So now all Sika has to do is make the little ears with the pink clay and then add the little eyes with the little eyes that they gave us, which is like little push pins, and add the smile with the tool. And now for my Meow Maid. I don't know why I didn't think of Meow Maid instead of Mer Kitty. I already prepared my shapes according to their guide. Now we're going to make the tail, use the tool, and then the kitty cat is going to be resting on top of the tail. One of the things that we realized is that the clay clay doesn't want to stick together so it makes it a little more challenging in order to put them together which means that when we start erasing my guess is that pieces are going to start coming off i think so too Time to put them in the oven. A few moments later. So here they are baked and we wrote in three different thicknesses. Salty times three and legend has it if you say salty three times. Don't say it. She'll come. She will appear. So don't say salty. Shh. Don't say it. Don't say what? I won't say it. Just don't say that word. Which one? Salty. Oh! She's behind us, isn't she? Probably. <laughs> don't look back. All right, so I'm going to test the lighter one. I feel like it's going. The ear is gonna come off. So let's try it with the ear. Oh. Oh. Is it working? It's working so far. We could do the tail too, technically. Oh. All right. So the lighter version works. Next. Wow. 
That's pretty impressive. Yeah, so far so good. And, oh no, Kitty did poo poo. Oh no. <laughs> Kitty did poo poo. And I brew. Oh, yeah, it's coming off. Yeah, so this part is going to come off. I really feel like a lot of these eraser, even though I'm holding it from here, a lot of these eraser kits. Yeah, I didn't think so. Try with your donut. They're mostly for looks, they're not really for erasing. It's coming off. It is. It's, I mean, it's, I've never used a circle eraser, but it's working. Kinda. It's like very, very little left. Let's try with an ear. Yeah, it's so soft. <laughs> Oh! Kitty lost an ear. Yep. Ah, that's an eyeball. <laughs> ah, that's a paper. <laughs> so, does this kit work? Yeah. Did it keep us entertained? Yeah. Is the booklet really well explained? Yes. Yeah. There's one but. Other than the book, the amount of clay that you get is not necessarily going to allow you to do too many. Well, they do say 15, but... Uh, how many options did they give us? 30. 30. 13? 30? Oh no, wait. That's page 30. Oh. There's 13. You saw nothing! Whereas if you only wanted eraser clay off of Amazon, you can buy for $10 about 10 colors. Oh wow. Alright. So unless you absolutely want this book, which in my opinion is absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Because it tells you the exact sizes that you would need for each piece you want to make. So if you're an advanced user and you want to do more ambitious projects, probably not. But otherwise, I still think that this kit is definitely worth your cash. If you want to watch the previous Cash or Trash, make sure you check up here. We're getting pretty low on, on craft kits, so we'll need to figure something out. And if you want to watch a crafting video, make sure you check down here. Until then, we will see you grains in the next video.